Enthusiasts have been loving the fact that AMD is continuously releasing great APUs for its gaming laptops. And with the great start of Rembrandt APUs, AMD figured out that a lot of users need something that wouldn't require them to buy a discrete GPU. However, AMD wasn't looking interested in releasing desktop APUs in the Raphael lineup like we used to have in the previous generations. But this might change very soon because according to the latest leaks, it is said that AMD is supposedly working on bringing both Rembrandt and Phoenix APUs to the desktop. Both these lineups are laptop exclusive, but if you remember the Gigabyte ransomware attack last year, a lot of data was leaked online, among which a new table was recently discovered by HXL, who is a well-known hardware leaker on Twitter. The table shows three different types of AM5 compatible processors, where each type has a unique CPU ID. The model 60H6FH denotes the Rafael desktop CPUs because its CPU ID is A60F12. Moreover, it is clear from the number of PCIe lanes mentioned in the same column that it is indeed the desktop Ryzen 7000 lineup. The other two include the 40H4FH which indicates the Rembrandt series which has the CPU ID as A40F41 and the other one is the 70H7FH which likely indicates that it is the Phoenix lineup with the CPU ID A70F41 designed for ultra-thin gaming laptops. If what we are seeing in this table comes true then this is definitely a great news for a lot of gamers because a big portion of the gaming community has been waiting for more powerful AMD APUs that would take the advantage of the crazy speeds of DDR5 memories. If you remember one of my previous videos, I talked about the Phoenix CPUs that feature Radeon 780M which outperformed the previous 680M present on Rembrandt CPUs by 25%. This means that if we can get a processor like the Ryzen 7840 or 7940HS on a desktop, it will be very much possible to play games at 1080p high settings without a discrete graphics card. Right now we still await the official announcement from AMD, so you should still consider this leak with a grain of salt. Next we have another interesting story that is actually happening in the PC market. If you are having problems managing all the cables in your case and want to hide all those cables from your vision, then it's not far from now that we are going to have motherboards with connectors on the back. Motherboards have evolved a lot in the last decade but one thing still needed to be fixed which is now going to be history. Generally you will find connectors present on three different sides of your motherboard which makes it hard to have a clean build unless you have a chassis that can provide you with sufficient routing holes to keep the majority of the wires hidden. But that too doesn't result in a 100% neat and clean PC build because you could still see the bent cables on the edges. However the time has finally come when all of your cables will disappear from the visible side because MSI has prepared a brand new motherboard called the B650DIY Ape that has all the connectors on the back. This motherboard not only has its EPS and ATX connectors on the back side of the PCB, but all the smaller ports like USB 2.0, Type-C, SATA, RGB and fan headers are all present on the back. This means that your entire cable clutter will be hidden at the back side of your chassis and you will get a completely cable-free interior. Good news is that MSI is not the only manufacturer that has initiated this step because ASUS has already joined the race a few days ago by making the B760M BTF motherboard that has all of its connectors at the back. Similarly, we have Maxon which also made the DIY Ape at 610 King which is an all-white mini ITX motherboard with all the ports on the back. Now one thing you may be wondering how on earth you are going to install it in your standard chassis because these ports are present on the edges of the PCB and almost all cases have a motherboard plate that would not allow installing a motherboard like this. Well these motherboards require cases that have routing holes present nearer than we normally have in our cases. This means that the cases we currently own won't natively support these motherboards and you will have to get compatible cases that are currently available from Asus and Sama. Although it will take some time to standardize these boards for the common market, it won't require a lot of effort from PC case manufacturers because they don't need to change their case design completely and a simple tweak of changing the routing holes positions would do the job. However, this would also require some of the cases to have more clearance at the back because it's not going to be easy to close the back panel. I'm sure some people will still find a way to fit these motherboards into the standard ATX cases because all you need to do is cut out some extra holes in your motherboard plate and you are good to go. I think this would be a nice revolution in the PC hardware industry and most PC builders are already looking happy with this decision. I also want to know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Let me know if you would prefer a motherboard with connectors on the front or if you would go for the new design. Hit the like button if you found today's stories interesting and subscribe if you are new here. Turn on the notifications to never miss latest hardware stories and I will see you in the next one.